Continuing with our series on low and mid-level robot vacuums, we have the Neato BotVac Connected D3. We put it through all of our usual tests, and this video will be the results and our review. Links in the description for current prices, as well as to our reviews on all the other robot vacuums in this series, and let's get started. The Neato BotVac Connected D3 is the budget robot vacuum from Neato, but as we'll see, it's not that much of a downgrade, especially after the recent software update, which we'll talk about later. It comes in black or white, and Neato has also recently released the D3 Pro, which is the exact same unit except for an upgraded filter and a color change on the laser. I'll also link these in the description as well. We tested the power with an anemometer and found that it had 19 CFM of airflow on its one power setting, which is extremely high. Only the Shark R85 and the Neato D7 had higher numbers, and not by that much. I should mention that the D3 and the D7 have the exact same motor, so they should technically have the same power. And one CFM difference is within the margin of error for these tests, so it could be my measurements that explain the difference. I should also mention that the D3 and the D3 Pro is the only Neato BotVac that does not have a low and a high power, although the recent updates do give this option on the app, choosing low or echo power on the app does not make a difference in the power output. Its default is the equivalent of high power. This super high airflow combined with a high quality, super wide front mounted brush roll make the D3 along with the rest of the Neato lineup the best cleaning robots on the market. Not only did it pick up all the test debris, from fine debris to pet hair to extra large debris, but it also did so on the first pass and with very little mess. The lack of a side brush means it doesn't scatter debris like so many others do, and on hard floors where robot vacuums tend to struggle, its high airflow really helps, picking up all the debris in one pass with no snow plowing at all. With our deep clean test where we rub sand into a medium pile test carpet and weigh the dust bins before and after, the D3 scored 76%, which is a tie for first place in this series at the moment. The Neato D3 is a smart navigation robot vacuum that uses invisible lasers to map out your house and clean in straight efficient lines. It first circles the perimeter and then cleans in horizontal and or vertical lines. It uses various sensors to navigate around obstacles, which it did extremely well in our obstacle course. It also has an option on the app called Extra Care Navigation, where it bumps into things less and avoids areas where it's likely to get stuck. I was very impressed with the D3, especially considering that most vacuums in this price range are dumb navigation robots, meaning that they randomly bounce around to clean rooms. And of the smart navigation robots in this series, only the Samsung PowerBot R7040 is a mapping robot, but in that case, it uses a camera instead of a laser. In my opinion, lasers are better if for no other reason than because laser bots like the D3 do not require the lights to be on in a room like the camera bots do. One of the big news items recently is that Neato has decided to include its floor planner with no-go lines feature on their whole lineup, including the D3 a feature that used to only be on the D7, and it really makes the D3 worth every penny. With no-go lines, you can use the app to draw multiple lines to prevent the robot from going certain places. This is incredibly useful because every house is going to have a few areas that you would prefer the robot not to go because it's likely to get stuck. And it's not just about certain rooms. You can draw a box around your computer desk or your entertainment center so you don't have to worry about the power cords. Or you can draw them around your bed if you store things underneath. In the past, using the various barriers like magnetic tape or virtual wall barriers were rarely used because they were unsightly and you usually only got one or two of them. But with no-go lines, you can basically idiot-proof your entire house so that you'll never come home to a stuck robot that didn't complete its cleaning, which makes the scheduling feature on the app so much more effective. The D3 is the only robot I know of in this price range that has this feature, and it really sets it apart from the others in this series. With battery life, the D3 gets 60 minutes, which is actually very good considering its high airflow. We tested it at 59 minutes before it stopped, and it still had 23% battery life left, which it keeps in reserve to make it back to the charging base. Also keep in mind that with smart navigation bots like the D3, the battery life is much less important since it has recharge and resume, meaning that if it runs out of battery before completely cleaning your house, it will automatically charge up and begin again where it left off until the job is complete. The next step up from Neato, the D4, is almost identical to the D3, except that it does have echo and turbo mode, meaning that it can get up to 75 minutes of battery life on one charge on its low power. I'll also link the D4 below so you can compare prices. The bin size is important with robot vacuums, and the Neato BotVac series has the biggest bin in the industry as far as I know. We measured it at two and a half cups. It's also easy to remove and easy to empty. On that point I should mention the filters. 
One of the reasons that the D3 is cheaper than the higher end Nidos is because it comes with a low end filter, but the high end filters will work with the D3 if you buy them separately. In fact, my D3 came with three of the high end HEPA filters in addition to the low end filter for some reason. The D3 so far was one of the only robots that actually worked on black carpet, which most robots can't do because they think it's a drop off, so that was cool. The noise level was about average at 70 decibels, not too loud. It was also better than average at climbing thresholds. We found that three quarter inches at 90 degrees was its limit, but that's pretty good. So let's move on to the cons. The edge cleaning test wasn't that great. The D3 along with the D4 are the only botfax that don't have an edge cleaning brush, instead relying on its D shape to clean edges and corners. It didn't do as bad as some of the robots in this series, and I think it would have done much better if our test area did not have a quarter round molding, but yeah, not that great with edges. One thing I would say is that there's a small lemon rate for Nido botvax, which have to do with the Wi-Fi connectivity, which accounts for most of the negative reviews. It almost certainly won't be an issue for you as long as you don't buy a used or refurbished one where people might be trying to get rid of a lemon. So the D3 is one of the most powerful robot vacuums out there, regardless of price. Along with the rest of the Nido botvax, it's one of the best cleaning robots. It has excellent deep cleaning, and with its smart laser navigation and now its no-go lines feature, it probably makes the Nido D3 the best robot vacuum in its price range. The next three robots we'll be testing are all one step down in quality and price, so I don't expect any of them to compete at this level, but I could be wrong. So check the links for prices and reviews on all the robot vacuums I've mentioned here, as well as links to the video reviews of all the robots we've tested in this series as they become available. Consider a like if this video helped you out, and thanks for watching.